Hi everyone, just wanted to start this, the, the video with some Chrono Trigger music. I was listening to it just before I started uh, the recording here and uh, beautiful, beautiful. It's um, Pontus Holtgren music. Uh, in the description I'll have a, a link to the the song I can't play too much of it because of you know copyright reasons um, a video will probably be claimed and I've had issues with that before it's a hassle to deal with there's workarounds uh, but easiest way is just don't get claimed in the first place um, yeah so let us begin we are here at the Shrine of Azura. This is where we ended off last time. We were given a quest to find a Daedric artifact for um, the ritual to open the gate to Mangar Cameron's Paradise. And we came here, we had to fight um, a few things. Um, one, a wolf found us. A will o' the wisp came and killed the followers followers of Azura. So we'll begin with Azura's quest. Now Azura has given us a quest to go to a certain cave and cleanse it. Um, I think there's some undead in there. Um, but first, I want to go look over there. What is over there? There's a curiosity over there. I'm, I'm gonna go this way here. There's an oblivion gate, but there's also fire? Oh. Oh my. Stuck inside a rock, eh? How hard is it to place assets in a game? Summer Baletti. Summer Baletti. Alright, what do you got for me? Yeah, let's get some weapons and armor. Ooh, we got a bow this time. A bow and... We got a mask. Huh. Some people say that this mask is good, part of the samurai armor, and I can see why they say that. Um, samurai armor is usually, um, the masks are made in the likes of, like, demons to instill fear in their enemies. Also, just some trees on fire, that's it. Leveled up, it appears. Nope. Nope. There's nope out of here. What the? 
I just did a spin. So unfortunately, this is the best way to fight in this game, is to just kite everything like this. Just run backwards and chip away at them. And I hate that when game mechanics force you to fight th this kind of way. Death. I could hit him. Uh oh. Yeah, those clan fears are. They reflect your damage back to you when you hit them. This is just a run. But they are formidable, especially once you face off against the full grown clan fears. They are very strong. And they're tough because they reflect like a little bit of the percentage of damage you do to them back at you. So you're by hitting them you're also taking damage, plus they're hitting you. So the best way is to fight them at range. Right, what is this place? Lord Rugdump's estate? L Lords? Hey. Lord R Rug Rugdump's estate. That that's a mouthful to say. Lord R Rugdump. R Rugdump? Rugdumpy. <laughs> Oh, come on. These, and the, the aiming in this game is super accurate. Like, you can't outrun, um, if you're moving in a certain direction, one direction, you'll always be hit. Um, you have to change direction after the, the arrow or the spell leaves. Um, once it's in flight, then you have to change your direction, then you can avoid it. But if you travel in one direction, they... 100% they'll hit you every time. Aiming in this game, they, they could have done with like a little bit of a... Um, uh, what do you say? Variability in the... Uh, in the... What was that? Oh. Hello? Come on a... Come, come on a tong? Come on a tong. Trust this guy, because the Kamona tongue in this game is lore. They are not good people. I'm waiting. You're waiting, eh? You can find Cairn Bolit growing in caves. They're said to mark the place someone has died. Huh. Leave me alone. Good stuff. You know what you need? You need a nap. You sound grumpy. What? Can I persuade him? This better be good. See, he's kind of scowling at me. Once I get his disposition up, he'll smile. So. Your. What? Goodness. What can I say? Please. Your. You. What a dumb joke. You. So. Really now. You're such a charmer. You. I. That. No. You do me too much honor. Now he's kind of smiling? You're good. 
You can find Cairn Bolit growing in caves. They're said to mark the place someone has died. You can hear his voice sort of soften now. You too. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Yeah, and now he's not saying like, Leave me alone. Farewell. I made a new friend. Friend with the silver warhammer. I wonder where he came from, if he's part of a quest or something. No? Just walking along the road, I suppose. Now, if I remember my lord, the Kamana. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Kamana Tong was there to keep the Dark Brotherhood in check. Um. Or was it the other way around? Uh, yeah. I know one was put in place to keep the other in check. I think the Kamana Tong was supposed to be like the keepers of peace or, or rule or something, and the Dark Brotherhood is there to. Um, they. They can only yeah. They can only assassinate if they have a contract or something, or if they're they're paid to do that. Or, or, and if they don't, then they get killed. Um, someone pays the Dark Brotherhood to. Okay, it's, it's yeah. It's something like that. I'm getting my lore confused, but. Why are all the gates over here, like, fancy? The ones on the east end of Cyrodiil are, like, fancy. Um, Rickety Mine... Can... Oh, I'm supposed to go up. Great. Do we have stuff we can sell? Not much. Oh, I suppose I need to repair a few things. Um. Yeah, we'll make do with what we have. Um, actually, we do need to rest. Maybe we should go to Shaden Hall. Wind Range Camp. Maybe there's a bed here. Ah. Oh, come on. What do you mean enemies nearby? the heck? Darn it. It's too powerful for that. Leveling time. Let's see, what shall we choose? Uh, so I did want to focus on willpower, intelligence. Uh, we didn't get that much intelligence. And agility. Or was it speed? I don't know. Next time we'll focus on speed and endurance. And strength, I suppose. There we go. Awesome. Let's see. Great, and a little bit more magicka. Um, okay, so 
the one thing I wanted to do was... Floated up the, the side there. Beautiful animations. I have a feeling I've been here before. Hmm. Okay, where is this? Okay, so it should be across the way there. Let's. So this episode will probably um, just be getting the Star of Azura and bringing it back to Martin at Cloud Ruler Temple. That's our, our goal here. Ah. What's this? Saddle, Polyphore, Cat. Yes. Gloves and... So it seems what you get is... Always the same, like you'll get gloves and a, a dagger. Hello? Gloves and a dagger, a chest piece and a claymore, or a bow and uh, a mask. I think there's other combinations too, but... Okay. the heck do we get up there? It's snowing again! daggers in this game they're they're low damage you can hit often with them but they're low damage so you need to like I don't know they're they're just you have to be really close and you, you have to hit them like 50 times before you actually do damage it's it's yeah it's not good I'd rather just have like a medium a medium speed weapon that does medium damage you know, that way you still have a good um, swing rate and you don't have to worry, like, you don't feel like you have, like, a letter opener or something, fighting with a letter opener. Where are we going? Right up here. Oh yeah, we did go by this way one time, but we died, so we didn't get the map markers. I was... Wait. Have we been through here? I don't know. Found hidden camps, not too hidden, is it? What the... Hey. Dare oppose me? Hello? Last time there was a dude here, this time it's just dogs. Let's have a little fun, shall we? Oh, oh, oh. 
Looks like there's spikes on these, uh, these gloves. Oh, it hurt. Oh, there is a spike. What's this? Bone meal. What are they doing cooking up bones here? Let's get to our destination. Good. It's over there. Oh, a whole bunch of clan fears. Uh-oh. Yeah. No oh, thanks. Hmm? Hello? Ooh. What a bloody mess. Holy frig. What is all that blood? Where's the mine? It's like right here? Right beside the oblivion gate? Wonderful. Ah, here we are. Somewhere. What exactly am I supposed to do in here? Um, when Azura was summoned, she told me the tale of her followers who trapped themselves in the gutted mine. She wishes me to find them and kill them, releasing them from their vampiric existence. Azura will unseal the mine so I may enter. Oh man, so I'm fighting vampires here, eh? Hmm. So first off... Hmm, my blade is getting low on charges. That's not good. Um, fire will help me out here. Vampires are weak to fire. I can't charge my weapon. I don't have any. Um. Well, that was lucky. Uh oh. Great. Don't tell me I got. I actually have a. What are you doing to me? Hoping to sick those clan fears on the vampire. Great, we have this vampire disease already. the best. 
best you can do? We'll use something with more substance here. What the? What happened to your face? Oh, jeez. And I didn't save again. Ah, oh, for f sakes. What is this? Auto save. Where does this bring me? Okay, we're back here. Good, good thing. Sick and tired of you darn vampires. My plan is working. Or not. Happened to your face? What the heck? Like some sort of weird graphical glitch going on. See what I mean about having like a dagger? You have to be like super close. Hey, enough of that. What's the matter? Getting tired? Yeah. Oh, I can't get them to fight each other. Oh well. The heck are those animations? What the? So some developers try to save on like resources by cutting the animations down when they're far or the number of polygons. That was just weird. It was like floating without even moving his legs. Oh jeez, I'm not going to escape this thing, am I? <sighs> the only option left is to fight. You want to go? What is this? Uh oh, a will of the wisp. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to fight that thing. Down to here. I wonder if I can get back up there now. This thing won't leave me alone, will it? Like they don't get they don't get the hint like go away. <laughs> they just chase you to the end of the earth. Like I, I think that if you go from one side of Cyrodiil to the other, they'll just continue to chase you. No matter what. Persistent buggers. Oh my goodness. Really? What the? 
Teleport too, I see. Like it hurts. Those arrows. Great. Let's wait an hour, rest up. There we go. to the other vampire. Did he die? Silver. I always found that to be a strange sound effect. It was like really weird. Hello? Who's there? Ruh-roh! Yeah, I didn't want to pick up that skull. One bit. Who's there? Uh, well, whatever it was, it's gone now. So there's three, three vampires. Hmm. I'm always cautious in games. Uh, some people like to go in swinging. I'm a very cautious player. I like to, you know, one step at a time. Um, you know, I play very slow. But that's just me. I like to make sure all my bases are covered before going in. Silver Nugget. A little bit of gold. Anything else? Dead end. Oh. It's four vampires. That's fun. Your grandma. Did you have enough to eat today? Hello? Oh, jeez. Okay, so they're using frost. We have a ring of frost resist. Okay, we're using it. Um, let's get out of the cave here. We'll get a bit more room. move around instead of being confined to a small <sighs> oblivion like I almost feel like I'm cheating doing this like the AI is so dumb oh 
There you go. That noise. Blood, I need your blood. Ooh. Yeah. That was a nice dodge. Let's see what you got for me. Leather gauntlets. Ow. It's not very nice of you. That's a nice armor though. I think that's uh um, dwarven armor. Ooh. I like to play rough, eh? Wow. So do I. Um There you go. This is the part where you fall down and Fall down in what? Fall down in what, eh? Quite a punch with that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I think I'm out of healing. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to aggro those clan fears again. Where are you going? Harder to dodge the shock. Ooh, running out of healing here. The shock spells are harder to dodge. They're a bit quicker. And they have a weird timing as well. Darn it. I don't know if I'll win this fight. Fireball is like medium speed, the the frost spells are, are slow. The shock are really fast. Uh, don't know, I have health for one or two more shocks. Um anything else? Uh, uh I could use this. I have to cook up some more healing potions. Where'd they go? I'm gonna die. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> uh, I'm really sick and tired of this quest. I don't want to do this. Like the, like I'm. I'm on like normal difficulty, like I'll, I'll show you the difficulty I'm on. Yeah, okay, maybe I'll put it 
down a little bit there, right in the middle. But it's like really hard. Like I can take on one enemy at a time pretty much. Hello? I know I'm not fighting the most efficient, but maybe I'll just I'll get serious and quit messing around. So I think we need to loot all that stuff again. Because my stupid... Stupid butt died. I really don't like this quest. I hate vampires. What the? Oh no, we don't. Okay, it's just this guy. This guy's got a really strong weapon. Like, in one combo, this guy can take down half my health. That's nuts. Plus, I have a... I have a shield spell on too. Great amount of. No, I don't. Ah, oh, come on. Sheesh. I've fought mud crabs more fearsome than you. Like. The game is so friggin' hard. Like I just lowered the difficulty. Come to me, sweet flesh. I'm focusing on heavy armor. I have a shield spell on. I have my endurance is like super high, and this oh. guy is. Let's get this over. This guy's making me into like a piece of meat. What the heck? Okay then. Guys, making me into a piece of meat. Ah, uh, what am I looking for here? Uh, Took like a quarter of my health in one swing there. What the heck? And I was blocking. Oh my goodness. Great. Die. Yeah. Oh, the miss, eh? Under the wire. Oh, gotcha. Ooh, dwarven. It's worth a lot of money, but it's heavy as heck too. Oh, I want that armor. I wonder if it's better than what I have. Six and four. 
fly. It's about equal to what I have. You just destroyed all my armor. Like, in that one fight, all my armor is de destroyed. Well, my, my light armor, my heavy armor is partially destroyed. That is nuts, man. That's crazy. Oh, that's a woman. I thought that was a man. Can't tell with these orcs. Um, I'm gonna drop a few things. I need to drop at least four, about 15 pounds. What the heck do I have? It's 15 pounds. Iron arrow. That'll give me a little bit of gold. Uh, it's all this friggin' herbs in these books. I mean, it, uh, yeah, I'll have to drop. Let me, let me see which one looks best on me here. Eight, six. Oh, it's actually better than what I have. Uh, I mean, the greaves don't look half bad. Drop the greaves here. You can sell the queerers. Um, take that back. Yeah. You can sell the the queerers. Ki queerers. I don't know how to pronounce that. Queerers. 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 Great. So three down. About three or four to go. Let's save here. I always forget to save when I'm... Usually I save all the time, but I don't know when, I, when I'm recording these. Um, I just don't think about it. Another trap. Hello? Let's, let's just hold down. Ooh, I can charge my... Uh, good find, good find, just some time. Nice. Oh, I hate vampires. Did I tell you I hate vampires? Plus, I'm like diseased. What? What does the disease do? Oh, am I not? Oh, I guess I have resist disease, so it makes it harder. Makes it harder to get. But I thought I had the the disease. What's this? won't shift. Oh. Spooky. Okay, so let's see here. Um. Oh, you have to go this way anyway. Uh, something over here. It's a dead end, but there might be like... Nothing. Okay. 
Whoa. That was weird. Let's see, let me guess another trap here somewhere. No? I got the fan card. What? Can't go? I'd rather fight them outside than inside. I got two of them to fight. Uh, just my luck. Oh, it was like a mage or something. That one's easy to take out. He had no armor, so this guy's got heavy armor. Might be a little harder. Right. Hope this is the last one. I hate that. Did I tell you I hate vampires. Whoa! Oh man, this guy's doing this shit ton of damage. I can't believe it, I have heavy armor too and like a shit ton of endurance. He's still hacking me up like a... At least he's not using magic so I can keep him at range. Oh, for <sighs> oh no, what's this? Auto save where? Okay, we're here, that's not too bad. Oh great, this one's easy to take out, a couple sword swipes and you're done. Damp worm, what the heck is that? Uh oh, okay, that's useful. way again. Can't you guys fight each other? Leave me alone. Like this is pretty much the whole game is like you running away from stuff, kiting stuff, um, trying to stay alive. Why did I even start this playthrough in the first place? This game really, like the level scaling ruins the game. The, the way they chose to... Now, he does like a shit ton of damage. What sword is he using? It looks like an iron claymore, but... Is it silver maybe? Shouldn't be... An iron claymore shouldn't be doing that much damage on me, no? Maybe I can... Two fight each other. Come on. <sighs> when your game resorts you to like exploiting it in order to in order to progress normally through the main quest, there's you know there's something wrong with it. I have no patience for this. Oh, jeez. Hello? <sighs> so what is this episode about? Oh, it's me standing on a rock, uh, 
exploiting enemies just so I can defeat them. Anything else that we can let's see here? Sorcery. Okay. Mm. I would try fighting him one on one, but just clan fears there, and I can't take on two clan fears and him. Definitely not. Come on, fight each other. There you go. Just like that. Yes. 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 Didn't last very long, but at least knocked off some of his health. Let's move, eh? I feel like I'm cheating. I think he's low enough to fight now. What the heck? He's got a wicked range on that weapon. Claymore of Sparks. Ah, that's why it's doing... Ah, thank goodness. That's why it's... Uh, it's an Iron Claymore, but it's enchanted. Ah... Uh, Shock damage, 5 points on strike, yeah. So that's why he's doing a bit of damage, but... Uh, it's too heavy. Yeah. Worn Faded Note. Spoon. We got that spoon, eh? You have no pockets. Um, let's rest here. I'm going to go back into the cave and loot. But first, I want to read that note. This worn, faded note was written on a scrap of parchment and secured by a piece of rawhide to the vampire's neck? What? My name is Gola Gromozko. My companion's names are Arnalda, Nil Elfdaughter, Avida Kassiana, and Umar Grakar. The vampire Drakid Dratik died by our hands, but the price was dear. Those those into whose hands we have fallen, we thank you and pray your favor. We served Lady Azura. Bring We served Lady Azura. Bring these our last words to the to her shrine. We praise her with the full fountain of our devotion. Our destinies were written in the stars, that our souls and reason to be and reason be slain and our world lost forever. None can escape her fate, but let us be remembered at her shrine and in the hearts of her servants. It is only by fate that any life ends, and only by chance that it is mine, not yours. Wow. So what is this? Afflicted brethren. So apparently they were serving Azura, they were trying to kill the vampires, but by a twist of fate, they got afflicted themselves while killing Dratik. And so they became vampires. How ironic. Um, yeah, so let's go loot. Um, feeling that I need to repair. Yeah. There we go. Loot, then we'll head back to Zero Shrine, and then we'll call it. Hopefully <sighs> this episode wasn't too boring, me standing on a rock. Trying to exploit the enemies. What's that noise? First shield making metal noises? That's odd. Okay. 
Um, let's go loot. Maybe there's a chest with something in it. I wonder if I can die if I stay in there while it closes. Alrighty, alrighty. Anything in here? Actually, let's, uh... There we go. I knew illusion would come in handy. See a little bit better. Well, it doesn't last very long, does it? What about... Mm, not as good, but whatever. Works. Okay, so I'm almost encumbered here. Anything else? Anything else? No, that's it. This secret. Oh. oh, has to be locked, eh? Ugh, I'm gonna go through this again, eh? Ah. Nothing actually worth worth getting in there. Oh well. Okay, I think I'm pretty much at my load limit here. So let's go back to zero. Okay, yeah. And then get Azura's star, and then... Yeah, and then that'll be it for this episode. I'm going... Okay, I know where I am now. Wait. How did I... I don't, I don't know, I'm confused. <laughs> How did I get in there? Um, let's just get out. What's this green? Okay, Shine of Azura is over here. Ah. 
What is your wish, you who have been blessed by Our Lady's voice? The Great Lady has spoken. To you alone, the moon and star shall be your guide. Stars have sure guided me. The Nine Divines are boring. Deidre, they're never boring. Really? We serve her will. They sure are not boring. <laughs> they're a handful. Hey there, I did what you wanted. I killed these uh, crazy vampires. Thank you, mortal. Their spirits are free. And henceforth, above my shrine, five bright candles shall burn forever in memory of their sacrifice. For your service, take this token that your deeds might be entered in the Book of Fate. Quest completed. Azura thanked me for allowing her followers the peace of death. She warded me with Azura's star. I have a Daedric artifact. Which Martin needs for the ritual to open a portal to Cameron's paradise. I should bring it to him at Cloud Ruler Temple. You are over encumbered, of course. This game should be called Elder Scrolls IV, the over encumbered hero. <laughs> So, if I remember correctly, Azura's Star is a reusable soul gem, basically. You can store souls in it and then use it to charge... ...stuff. Um, yeah. Ooh, it sells for a lot of money. Holy heck. Now, we probably won't need this, so... I'm okay with getting rid of it. But... Uh, Let's drop one of these things. Uh, no, actually, they're, they're worth a little bit of money. Let's drop... Three, thirty. Let's drop one of these silver nuggets. There we go. No? How much does this thing weigh? Point 0.7, so we'll have to drop another nugget. Still over encumbered. Just get rid of one of these friggin' things. There we go. Great. What is your wish? Farewell, Star Bearer. Okay. Um let's fast travel to Cloud Ruler Temple. And then call it there. <sighs> so, yes. You ever have that? Somebody walk up to you, look at you and say, Yes, and then walk away? <laughs> Realistic. Anyway. That'll be it for this episode of uh, Oblivion. And uh, this is Will and F signing off.